Hi, it's Chris Heberlein with Telemechanique Sensors. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on our new software for the XUW Vision Sensor. I've got the main page of the uh, software open right now, and there are a few different areas of it. Uh, this top part, uh, which is blank, is if I had a camera connected, its IP address and the name of the camera would appear right here. And this section is for simulation mode. I can uh, double click here and start a simulation without any sensor connected, any hardware at all. So I can work offline. And down below I can, I can uh, do some finds or some configs or views of sensors that uh, may be connected to my uh, PC or over a network. So let's get started. So right here is a vision sensor. It's highlighted in blue. I will double click that. And it brings me to a configuration screen. And there are four images that are preloaded that come with the software. And it, you can see here it's a Telemechanique XG RFID tag. So uh, the first image uh, in the center of the screen is a perfect image. Um, there are three other images which have one problem with each of them. And we're going to write a quick program to use some different vision detectors or vision tools to write a quick program. So here's the first image. The second image, part of the center logo of the waves has been deleted or erased. The third image, these, these uh, waves are back, but up in this white area, telemechanique, the words are whited out. And in our last area, uh, last image, the, these two holes in the corners are filled in. So we're back to the original one. Um, because this is a job or a program, we don't need, and we're not connected to a camera, we don't need to make any adjustments to uh, the screen resolution, shutter, or lighting, or anything to that effect. So we're going to leave all this stuff alone. So a detector, or in uh, the industry, they're t referred to as vision tools. Uh, we have five tools to select from. Uh, pattern matching, contour, contrast, brightness, and gray. Uh, for the sake of argument, we're going to just choose contour. And I've got two little windows. One is yellow, which is kind of my working area. And I'm going to make that and expand that to cover this whole uh, RFID tag. And then I have a green box. And I'm going to focus in on these waves. So, so that's my image. And down here on the right, this is what's being stored at to what com to compare future images to. So um, you can see here I've got a green, um, I like to call it a thermo thermometer. Uh, it tells me how good a picture I have. So right now, because the, the picture is not moving, uh, I'm pretty much at 100% of reading the same image over and over in, in respect to these uh, this logo. So as I advance, to the next image, you can see that my box went from green to red, and those logo, those waves are erased. And my little thermometer here, it's it's red and it's empty. Uh, if I click to the next uh, image, all these waves are back. My green thermometer looks good. And the last one, this image, the same image is fine. If I go to the results tab over here on the top left, and down in the bottom, there's a score. So my first image, I got a score of 99.7 out of 100. When I advanced to the next one where the, the logo is, is erased, I got a score of zero. So it doesn't look, to, to, to the software, it doesn't look anything like what was uh, originally stored. And then we're back to the beginning. So that's my first demonstration on Contour, and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.